Hello gorgeous people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is an exciting day. It is my first haul in ages. I'm going to be doing a she in for those of you who are new around here, I am Lauren. I'm mum to two girls. I like faffing about on YouTube with all sorts of different things. So I've done some skincare reviews. I've done some makeup. I've done some vlogs. A little bit of everything. If you like that kind of thing, you like a bit of variety in your life, then hit the subscribe button and also the bell to be notified of any new videos that I post. <sighs> I don't know why I'm so out of breath. I think it's because I got a bit excited. Who has been wearing the same outfit over and over again through lockdown. Come on, let's do it together, guys. Who isn't really feeling themselves at the moment? Who has put on an extra few pounds in lockdown, therefore isn't feeling massively comfortable in their pre-lockdown clothes? And now that life's getting back to normal, they kind of feel like they open their wardrobe and there's nothing for them to wear. Well, my friends, this is why I have gone with a haul because I was absolutely desperate for some new clothes. Like, it's ridiculous. I was looking back on videos that I did nearly three years ago on YouTube and I was sitting wearing the same jumper. I was like, this is really desperate. Um, as a mum, and I don't even think it's just a mum thing. I think some people just feel guilty spending money on themselves. It's a fact. So I buy all sorts of things for my girls all sorts of things for my house and things for the dog, things for ponies, everything like that and forget about myself. And I just feel guilty doing it. So that is kind of why I wanted to try out Shein. I think that's how you say it. It is really, really cheap. Now I'm going to say cheap because I don't know if it's reasonable because reasonable to me would be something that is low in price but also high in quality and I don't really know how this is going to go. It could be a disaster. I have ordered from Shein once before and it was a complete disaster. I ordered a dress and honestly I've never laughed so much when I tried it on. It looked utterly ridiculous. So I have noticed that I do think that it's become more popular and also I feel like the website is, oh there's a knock on the door. Okay, I'm back. So when I went on the website, I kind of got the impression straight away that things hurt, were on the up with Shein. Just the quality of the website seemed a lot better. Uh, sorry, I've just run up and down the stairs. Oh, my God, I'm going to the gym tonight and I don't even know how this is going to go. Anywho, it seemed a lot better. Everything just seemed more put together. The prices weren't ridiculous. Um sizes weren't ridiculous and just generally the review seemed a lot better so i bought myself one two three four five items they only came to about i think it was like 45 48 something like that so i went for and i wanted to get things that i would wear over and over quality depending so i got myself a summer dress because that is something I've been really low on and um, when it's been warmer weather I want something that's kind of decent length so I'm not flashing at everybody when I'm bending down to kids and um, I got myself a jumper just for colder days and I got myself a oversized t-shirt because I love them and I got myself a top like a going out top to go under and this was the whole reason that I was looking for um, I was on Shein because I, w I had this in my head you know when you get an outfit that you think is going to look really nice so I wanted a new pub outfit because I you know just for those times when we might be going out in the pubs um so I wanted to look like smart sophisticated cool edgy so I wanted I bought a shorts with a blazer and then this top to go underneath. So I've got like a going out outfit as well, which you can dress up or dress down. Always thinking. So I got those things and I'm really excited. So I'm going to just show you them all. I have opened two of the items just because I was impatient and I wanted to see what they were like. But two of them I haven't even looked at. So I'm going to first start with the summer dress that I got. And it's a green dress. It's oversized, which is what I wanted. I'll take it off the coat hanger. I love the colour of it. It's like this sage green. Sorry, it's a bit creased. A couple of the, um, I think, 
probably most of the items will be. It's got pockets. It's just really casual. It's got buttons all the way down. I am going to do a try on as well. So sorry if you can't see this very well. Um, but it's got these lovely ruffly sleeves as well, which are really flattering and a kind of V-neck. So yeah, really simple, oversized, hopefully flattering. Um, so that was my first item. I got this in a large, which is classed as a 12 to 14 on the Shein website. Um, and it was 13 99 Now, material-wise, when I first looked at it, I was like, I feel like that's going to be really see-through. But I have, I will try it on and have a look. And I have had a little try. And because it is so loose-fitting, you can get away with it. So I will try that on for you now. Okay, so this is the first outfit. This is the green dress. I'll just go back so you can see it in full. Um, I, yeah, I really like this. And I know it's something that I'll get loads of wear out of. Um, I was worried about it being see-through. You can kind of see my bra, but it's not like over the top. I should probably just put a nude bra on underneath. Um, it is very roomy. So to be honest, it could have gone down a size. Um, but it is exactly what I wanted, just something really easy that you could throw on any day. Um, and when it's, sorry, I probably should have tanned my legs, but you know, just go with it. Um, love the pockets. I love the length of it as well. It is a perfect length. Um, it's not going to kind of ride up or show anything that it shouldn't. Um, but yeah, I really like this. It's not like the most fitted, it's not like it cinches you in at the waist or anything, but it is just something really easy and really uncomplicated. That's probably the same as saying easy, really easy and really versatile as well. And also I just love the colour. I love this kind of sage green colour. It's really nice. And the arms, you know, it doesn't cut down there. It's not tight there. Um, I really love this kind of effect on top of the arms as well. It just makes it look a little bit different. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this one. Okay, so second in the on the list is my little short set that I was so excited about. It is super creased, so you'll just have to bear with me. Um, but I am really conscious of my lower tummy after having two children, two cesareans, and also just generally tending to carry my weight there. Um, I'm really conscious and I'm sick of like not being able to find the right clothes and I think my problem is I always think it's the top that's the problem but actually I think I need to look at the bottoms that I'm wearing more so I've gone for these shorts they are quite short shorter than I expected excuse the creasing it literally it's just come out the packet like that and haven't worn them or anything paper bag waist which I hope will be really flattering and also comes with this tie to go around the waist so it's in this forest green colour to be honest, I was looking for a lighter colour, more summery, but then I think, actually, do you know what? It'll be versatile. I'll be able to wear it kind of all season if I wanted to. Um, the material is thicker, but it's kind of that like sort of crepey material. It's got a bit of a stretch to it. Um, but this was, this whole set was, <clears throat> I'm just looking at it, it's 16 99 and I was looking at sets where the jacket was £20 and the shorts were like another 20 And I just thought I wanted to see what it was like first. I wanted to see if I could pull it off and then I might get something a bit more expensive. But to be honest, I think it's probably going to do the job. The jacket, again, very creased. Um, it doesn't have buttons, but it has these like lovely black um, chunky lapels. And it's also, which I'm quite happy about, it's got little shoulder pads in. So I quite like that, like, oversized boxy look in a blazer. Um, so, yeah, I'm, and I think it looks quite a decent length, which is good, because I'm always a bit worried that these shorts would be too short. But if this is long enough, then it's going to make, I'm not going to be as worried about these being short, if that makes sense. So I'll also, I'll show you the top that I got to go with it first, and then I'll try them all on together. And I haven't looked at this, it's still in the pack. Um, sorry, so I got the shorts and blazer in a large, which is 12 to 14 as well. And I was a little bit concerned because obviously, I was, as I said before, I feel like I'm carrying a bit more weight. Normally I was feeling more 14, um, but it's fine. I'll give it a go. And this is the top that, oh, I got to go under it. I quite like it actually. It's just kind of a, a very, I quite 
like that. I think that's quite nice. Simple but effective, I would say. It's just like a stretchy camisole top. Actually, the material is really lovely. It's really lovely and stretchy and soft. The straps are just kind of spaghetti straps, not adjustable. Sometimes I think that's better because sometimes you, if you have adjustable straps, you adjust them and then they come loose anyway. Um, and this lovely kind of, I don't know if you'd describe that as like an eyelash lace, um, but I like that. And that I got in a large as well, 12 to 14, and that was 6.49, which is nothing really, is it? But I really like it. I'll try it all on for you now. I also just wanted to really quickly show you um, to put with the blazer and shorts. I actually bought myself some new shoes. I kind of felt like all my shoes were a bit dated and I was going to, I was thinking of like putting an outfit together to go out and I've just got really like clumpy, like big boots and I just didn't really, I wasn't feeling them. So I bought these, these are from Ego. Um, I'd never heard of it before, to be honest. It just came up on my Facebook. They were 19 99 and these are the Molly Mae Haig um, nude heels really simple i got these in a size five um i haven't worn them yet um i've tried them on they could do do they just feel a bit kind of tight around my foot but i think they're the type of shoe that if you wore they would kind of stretch better to your feet um got these in a size five the thing that i really like about these is um they come with like your replacement heels as well which is fab so i think i'm gonna pair those with the shorts and the blazer but yeah 19.99 those were and i'm quite pleased with them Okay, definite favourite. I'm having to crouch down because I've put my new Perspex heels on. It's making me a bit booby. Um, so, obviously, ignore the creases because it desperately needs a good iron. But, right, so let's look at the blazer first. It's got these, like, larger lapels, which I think, once ironed, will be flattering. Shoulder pads. It's oversized. Loads of room in it. Shorts. Love this detail here. Love the paper bag waist. Length, I mean, they are quite short, but with the jacket on top, I don't really feel that self-conscious. Um, with a tan on the legs, I don't know how many times I will say that, I think it'll be just a really nice pop outfit. That's what I've got in my mind. I've got my Perspex shoes on as well which I am pleased with. I will show you all my lumpy bumpy bits at the back, but this is the length of the shorts and the blazer. Yeah, I am, I think I'm really happy with it. I think, I think in my head, what I pictured, it's kind of coming together. Um, the top itself, it's a really nice material. It does make me feel a little bit top heavy. Um, I don't know whether it's just this detail here, but also I've got the total wrong bra on as well, just ignore that. Um, but I don't, I wouldn't wear it on its own. I need the jacket over because I would want it to be like that, not with straps there. It kind of doesn't really sit right, you see. Um, but under this jacket, I think it looks okay and it certainly kind of brings a little bit of detail to this area. So yeah, let's just do a little hair flick. It's a yes, I like it. Okay, so the next on the list is the oversized t-shirt that I got. And I got it with a cactus print because I thought it was really cute. Um, oversized t-shirts are so versatile. I actually got this one in an XL because I... <laughs> I wanted it to be really big. Oh my... I think it's a t-shirt dress. <laughs> it's ginormous. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm laying it on my legs and it's down past my knees. <laughs> okay, so I went for oversized and um, yeah, it's very oversized. It's very much a dress. But okay, we'll, we'll try it and we'll see what it's like. Material of it, the material is actually... It's quite nice. It's quite just a oh shucks. Oh, just got lipstick on it. Oh no. Ren. This is 
why you don't buy white clothes. I love the print on it. I think that's really cute. It's just going to be possibly like a tent. This, yeah, I got this in an XL. This was only five ninety nine, and yeah, the, the, the quality, it's quite a thick t-shirt material, whatever that is, bog standard. But for five ninety nine, I think that's pr I think that's pretty good. You get a lot of material for that five ninety nine. So yeah, I'll try that on for you now. Okay, <laughs> the oversized t-shirt that is not actually an oversized t-shirt it is in fact an oversized dress slash nighty. Um yeah from here up lovely let me just go back it gets long <laughs> excuse the legs again um no 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 to this um it would definitely i wouldn't ha i wouldn't be able to wear it anywhere i don't know where i would wear it i'm not cool enough to wear it with trainers um what i probably will end up doing is somehow wearing it with actually let me just put it on with those shorts that came with the um blazer and the just here i'm more likely to do this tuck it into something there's no way that i would be wearing that wearing it as a t-shirt dress okay this is more me right you'll probably see lumps and bumps everywhere because it's obviously so long it probably hang out the bottom of the shorts Oh god, it does. Right. Roll up, roll up. Oh god. Slightly better. It gives it, it makes it better. Slightly better like that. Yeah. I love the print on it. But yeah, it's just not for me the um, dress, Granny 90 type effect. In fact, I'm even starting to not like the print. This was my favourite thing about this. And I'm even looking at it thinking, that doesn't even look that great anymore. Nighty it is. I will wear it for bed. Okay, and finally, my final thing in the haul. Oh, this is in a different bag. The others are in like a kind of not see-through bag. Um, not that it matters. This is the jumper that I bought. And to be honest, it was just so cheap. I was like, I'm going to give that a bash and see what it's like. Um, it is... Okay. So, it's just kind of like plain. It's not too thick, actually, which I, I, I like that. Because although I wanted a jumper, I am, like, generally a really hot person. In that I put a jumper on and it's off in seconds. So, it's just kind of like plain, stretchy, thin sweatshirt material and then you've got this really quite lovely um leopard print peplum at the bottom again you know i tend to go for peplum things because of my issue with my lower tummy um but yeah i, I think i quite like that i'm hoping it's going to be long enough that's my main thing because it's all it's all very well and good having a peplum but if the peplum only comes up to here then it's not really doing anything for me that's why i went for the xl in this and this, guys, was four ninety nine. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that at all, can you? Um, so I will go and try that on for you too. Okay, so finally, I've cheated because I've just put this on top of the shorts and the laptop. Oh, sorry. Um, this is my four ninety nine jumper. Now, first impressions: it is rather large that way. Um, which kind of is being as, as expected because I got this in an XL. Um, I like that the sleeves are long. Um, the material is, yeah, it's it's quite nice and light. It's that sort of sweat chop sort of material underneath. And then we've got the peplum here, which, excuse the shorts, obviously I wouldn't wear it with this. I just wanted to give you a look at what is. I'm undecided. I think I like it, but I kind of think it just makes me look quite wide. Um, and because this is quite bright, it like draws attention to this, which I don't know if that was what I want. I don't know. I, can't, I really can't decide. I also am not sure it's quite as long as I would like it. But to be honest, I'm just being picky. I will wear it. I wear it with a pair of jeans and 
it will be something different to wear. Um, I'm just being picky, but I would probably like it maybe a bit longer. <laughs> all in all, I am really impressed with the Shein order that I've received. Um, I was kind of hoping that I would get like one outfit out of it that I would like to wear all the time. Um, obviously not all of them. Um, oh, you see, no, when I'm standing, it's like sticking out like this. It's just making me feel wide. Um, I'll do that. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I was kind of hoping that I would just have like one outfit that I was like, yes, this'll do. And actually I've come away with two, I think, because I've come away with the green dress, which I know I wear all the time. And also the little shorts and blazers set thing with the top. So yeah, I am super pleased. These, this and the cactus t-shirt, I mean, God, the cactus t-shirt, I'll just wear as a nightie, doesn't really matter. Um, and this, I know I will wear. I'm not like blown away by it, but I'm certainly not like my first Shein delivery where I laughed so much at myself and couldn't ever wear what I bought out in public. Um, it's definitely, definitely gone up in my estimations. And for the price, I mean, come on, you can't really complain. So thank you so much for watching. I will link all of the items that I've bought below in case you want to get them for yourself. Just wanted to point out that this is not an ad. None of this was gifted. I bought all of this with my own money. I wanted some new clothes. I went online and bought them. I was not asked to do it at all. So just get that out of the way. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, I am absolutely sweating. Holes are hard work. Um, please like and also please subscribe if you want to see me again and I will hopefully see you next time.